Welcome! I am Emir, and let us look back in hindsight. If you want to watch the previous episode, click here. Or, if you want to watch the entire Disney Songs miniseries, click here. What are your favorite Disney songs, and why? Comment on the YouTube page of this video. I'd like to know what you have to say. 3. Disney will never make another Disney Channel original movie like Pixel Perfect. This movie raises philosophical and ethical questions on technology, individuality, and freedom. Should we develop sentient holograms? Are sentient holograms people who are entitled to dignity? Or are they merely property? Who would have thought that a decom of all things would raise these issues? There are three important characters in Pixel Perfect. One is Roscoe, played by Raviv or Ricky Ullman from the Disney Channel show Phil of the Future. Two is Samantha, Roscoe's friend, played by Leia Pipes. And three, Loretta, played by Spencer Redford. Roscoe tries to help Sam and her struggling band, the Zeta Bites, by creating Loretta. YouTuber Gloomy Princess discussed the plot of Pixel Perfect in depth on her YouTube channel and made a ukulele cover of a song from that movie. Let's talk about that song, shall we? If I cut my hair, if I change my clothes, will you notice me? If I bite my lip, if I say hello, will you notice me? What's it gonna take for you to see? I want you to notice me. In the context of the film, Sam wishes that Roscoe would notice her. You see, she has a crush on him. She then writes this song with him in mind. This is Sam's I Want Song. I didn't expect that I would be discussing two I Want Songs in this list. The soundtrack includes Loretta and the Zeta Bites version, but I prefer Sam's version from the movie. It's raw and very emotional. You can hear her yearning and pleading for Roscoe to reciprocate her feelings for him. Of course, he doesn't reciprocate, not yet anyway. All he thinks about is, wow! This will be another hit for sure. And of course, Loretta sings and dances to it cause why the hell not? Notice Me isn't even a happy song. How can you cartwheel to this? Tonal consistency? Who cares? I've had crushes and I've always wanted them to notice me. But as I have said in a previous video, honesty is not always the best policy in such a case. All I can do is hum notice me and hopefully get over those feelings. When I finally learn to love myself, I'm getting there, I promise. 2. Disney will never do adventure films without a princess as a hero ever again. Read my lips, forget it. Disney tried it with mice, with an angsty teenager, and with a nerdy scrawny Marty McFly. These films are my favorite Disney movies. I like them even more than the Renaissance ones, which is why I'm glad that they're getting more attention now. Of the three, I like Treasure Planet the best. What a unique and beautiful world, this hybrid of oceans and outer space. What a thrilling and suspense-filled adventure, this quest to find Captain Flint's treasure. What an emotional father-son connection this film forges. Jim Hawkins finally feels what it's like to be loved by a dad because he has found a father figure in silver. Ah! That fleeting feeling of joy, which soon turns to despair and fear because of Silver's betrayal and lust for gold. And that ending. Damn that ending. And who doesn't like the Goo Goo Dolls? Frontman John Resnick wrote two songs for Treasure Planet. One is I'm Still Here, the I Want song of the movie. It's a good song, but I just don't like it. It's too personal for me. I can't go further. Just know that this song is about a yearning for a father. I like the other song Resnick wrote for the film. Somehow the world has changed and I've come home to give you back the things they took from you. And I feel you now. I'm not alone. I always know where you are. When I see myself, I always know where you are. Where you are. 
Always know where you are, place at the close of the movie. As Jim stares into the sky, seeing Silver's face in the clouds, before the credits immediately follow. I am torn about the choice Disney made in placing this song on Treasure Planet. It's too good to be buried on the credits. At a point when people stopped caring, when they leave the theater or shut off the film. But Always Know Where You Are is also not appropriate for the closing montage. Which now shows Jim charting his own course. The montage is too short for a song. And the score used there is already a sweet way of wrapping up loose ends. Resnick performed this song in the movie, while BB Max version is included in the soundtrack. I like Resnick version better. BB Max sounds whiny and dispassionate, while Resnick projects jubilance and hope, which matches the ending of the movie. In the context of Treasure Planet, Always Know Where You Are is Jim's thank you to Silver for being the father figure that he never had before since his dad had abandoned him. Silver is not perfect. In fact, he's a terrible person. He is an asshole! Silver is obsessed with Captain Flint's treasure. He even admits it himself. So the old cyborg does not hesitate to tug Jim's heartstrings and to lead a mutiny aboard the ship just to ensure that he gets his hands on them sweet gold, gold, gold. But Silver does not kill Jim. Silver, the cyborg, is not the murderer in this movie. Look, the murderer is a crab. Oh God. Silver helps Jim escape from Treasure Planet, giving up the treasure that he spent his whole life looking for. Well, mostly. So, Silver is not perfect, but neither is he all evil. But, Silver here fills the void in Jim's heart and inspires him to chart his own course. Now listen to me, James Hawkins. You got the makings of greatness in you, but you gotta take the helm and chart your own course. Stick to it, no matter the squalls. And when the time comes, you get the chance to really test the cut of your sails and show what you're made of. Well, I hope I'm there, catching some of the light coming off ya that day. Always know where you are inspires me as I live every single day. It gives me hope that my loved ones are behind my back, just as Jim had silver. This song is also my thank you for my loved ones, my family, and my friends. This song is also my thank you to you, my viewers, for sticking out with me. Let's see some more honorable mentions. Life is a highway. I won't ride it all night long. Ooh, if you go in my way, I will drive it all night long. La vie on the madira, que la coso et toi, ça n'est pas pour moi. Là c'est moi, vous c'est merveilleux, prend mon aval. What is that? That freaky thing! Yes, that's right, it's a naked mole rap. Come on, y'all! Let the girls sing, listen to the naked mole rap. Why is that? That freaky thing! Yes, that's right, it's a naked mole rap. Come on, y'all! Let the girls sing, listen to the naked mole rap. Quit playing games with my head. I'm a sport, but I'm not a toy. Let's not analyze what I said. I don't wanna be a complex boy, 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 boy. Could it be when I never imagined? Could it be suddenly I'm falling for you? Could it be you were right here beside me and I never knew? Could it be that it's true that it's you, that it's you? Ilaila, wahila, no mahalini hohana. Welcome cousins, come on my, aloha e come on my. He's cool, he's hot like the frozen sun. He's young, he's fast, he's the chosen one. People were not bragging, and it's the American dragon. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Should have known from how I felt when we were together, and even more when we were apart. You tiptoed in and you got under my skin. You snuck your way right into my heart. Bow chicka bow wow. That's what my baby says. Bow bow bow, and my heart starts pumping. Chicka chicka chew up. Never gonna stop, kitchy kitchy goo means I love you.
Bow chicka bow wow. That's what my baby says. Mow mow mow. And my heart starts pumping. Chicka chicka choo wow. Never gonna stop. Kitchi kitchi goo means I love you. Someone belongs to 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 everyone. So have some fun. There's nothing better to do. Someone belongs to you. Someone belongs to you. Someone belongs to you. It's the age-old story of how an evil boy meets an evil girl. We've got a love strong enough to rule the whole wide world. We both maniacally laugh at. All the same stuff I found my other half, yes, I found an evil life. Can you guess my number one? Comment on the YouTube page of this video. Thanks for continuing to stick out with me. Because of Silver's betrayal and lust for gold. Very wag. Grey Wog. Nasan? Uy, totoong tao yun. Sama na. Alam mo ba nagre-record pa to? Gusto mo isama ko to sa video? Dito lima wala yung ngiti sa mga mukha ko. This is supposed to be serious. Not a joke. Uy, may kinalaan ka naman. Tama na, Grey. Because of Silver's betrayal and lust for gold. Why am I still smiling? Because <laughs> 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 gold, okay. 